this this idea that you must do something for others. You can't just do write an academic paper or do crossword puzzles. You know, that or, or, unless you you get through and do something to help others, that 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 has been a driver for me, and that comes from the um, from the childhood on. What's and motivated the hard work, by the way. Um, and then mentors. Uh, David Wheeler was 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 a really good person uh, to talk to. He was my supervisor, my advisor at uh, Cambridge. And every week I had a meeting with him for an hour or two, or some talk. And it had the same kind of format. So here comes the bright young uh, PhD student with some great ideas, right? Wow, I have ideas. And David says, mm, yeah, Diana, mm, it's not bad. Yeah, it's good. Actually, we almost did that for the EdSec too. This is a dreaded word because there was from 56, and you realize that he was sort of 20 years ahead of you. And he says, but then we realized, and he's off to the races, and he spent an hour or two explaining alternatives, solution methods, um, and what actually happened in the end. So he was really good at explaining things in, in a straightforward way. Um, and I could go and read the research papers later, but, but he could get the idea across much better. So that, that was important. Um, the, uh, the, the other person worth mentioning here is Brian Kernahan again. Um, talked to him a lot. The, uh, C++ was to a large extent invented on other people's blackboards, notably Brian's and a guy called Doug McElroy. Um, Brian basically taught me to write um, technical stuff. He's the best technical writer I know. And Doug McElroy was another guy at Bell Labs. He, he was really, really good at understanding things. You go into his office because there's something you can't quite solve, and you explain it to him. When you're finished explaining to him, you understand it better because you've had to articulate it to him. And then he plays it back to you, and it seems that he understands it better than you do now. Really great guy. And so uh, he comes into to this kind of category, you know, close to, to being a mentor, but I'm not sure I don't know if they thought of themselves like that. I mean, it was, it was uh, David's official job was to mentor me, but he, he was he, he, he just like explaining things. 